So I've been mocking up my um, keyless ignition. Tried to make a video without talking on it, but to be honest, uh, it's quite difficult to explain what everything was about. So I'm going to post this up without listening to it because I can't stand the sound of my own voice, but hopefully um, it explains it a little bit for people. So this thing here is the RFID thing. So this is basically taking the signal from the key fob. This thing on top of the seat here is the uh, the antenna for it and that's hopefully going to be hidden um, in the seat underneath this thing so that you basically swipe the key fob over the top of the seat. So this wasn't exactly like the one on um, the listing in eBay. Um, this has literally just got a red, black and white wires and the red is the positive, the black is the negative and the white is the switching wire so it feeds a positive output um, to the relay. Um, <coughs> The relay took a little bit of working because I couldn't be bothered to read the instructions and then I had to go back and actually read the instructions. So again it's quite simple, this green is the switching wire which connects to that white one. Um, so that white one you swipe the thing and it provides the feed to the relay. Black again quite simply negative, red is the positive, sent over here to this battery. And then I, this is the bit I buggered up. Um, uh, if you've got a positive feed, which for this test setup, which I'm just trying to write, light this light up, but actually when I wire it into the bike, the ignition is a positive feed anyway. Um, you have to have um, the positive coming in on this brown lead with the fuse and then out on the yellow. Uh, if you flip it around the other way, if you were switching a negative feed, um, then you'd have it um, on the yellow and then your output would be the brown. But I suggest just thoroughly reading the instructions before you have a go at it. Um, I've literally just finished putting my flush mount um, custom dynamics light in. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Only problem is it's in, you know, fantastically bright. At the moment it's only set on just the, the normal light, not the brake light, but when you look at the brake light, I mean it sort of burns your eyes a little bit, so hopefully there's no laws or rules about how bright it has to be. So here's how it works. I'll just get the old key fob if I can find it. So this thing here will attached to uh, the key ring and then basically all you do is you swipe it over here and that light lights up which means that the RFID is picked it up go away and it fires it up so this will just make the ignition live it won't start the bike or anything and then the same deal to turn it off and there's all sorts of funny things that you can do on this relay about how you can switch it. Um, I can't get it to zoom in but basically I've got first one up, second one down, third one up and fourth one up and that basically means that um, I've got it set to immediate turn on so 0 to 1 seconds. I've got it normally closed so when it first opens up it's it's closed. I've got it on latch so when you flick it it turns on, when you flick it it turns off again and then the output um, or the input and output is uh, the input's positive as well. So that's it. Pretty pleased with it. Hopefully it sort of helps a few other people. And hopefully I don't blind too many motorists when I'm riding around it.